Woman attacked with a machete left for dead inside her burning apartment. The neighbor who found the victim bruised and bleeding speaking to 23 ABC News tonight. And good evening, I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Jackie Ochoa. Tonight, 23 ABC's Natalie Taranjoli joins us now in the Live Center with more on how the neighbor who called 911 moments after that woman escaped captivity. Natalie. Yeah, Franco Ochoa and Amalia Lopez seen here are facing charges of attempted murder, torture, aggravated mayhem, assault with a deadly weapon, burglary and arson. Police say they held a woman against her will in her own home in June before attacking her with a machete and lighting her apartment on fire. I spoke with the woman that lives right next door to her. Oh, I have the chills. Oh. Kyra Oliver lives right next to the victim in East Bakersfield on Troy Street, right off Fairfax Road. On the morning of June 25th, Oliver was getting ready for church when she stepped outside to take out the trash. But this is where I found her. Oliver said her friend was badly beaten and had her fingers cut off. That morning, it was just really horrific. It, I, it really freaked me out. Oliver so shaken up after finding the victim, she was afraid to come back to her home. It, it really took a toll on me seeing my neighbor like that and knowing that it happened so close. Franco Ochoa and Amalia Lopez are the suspects police believe are tied to this case. They introduced themselves to Oliver before the night they assaulted her with a machete and lit her apartment on fire. Oliver thought they were just friends staying over. I didn't get the feeling that they were doing something to her or anything. She didn't tell me. But when she saw her that morning, she knew she had to help her. Now she's more cautious. At first, I would let my son go in and play and, you know, outside. Um, of course, me being there watching him, now I don't, I don't feel safe as, you know, as safe as I was as being outside, you know. An ex-relative of Ochoa spoke to 23ABC. She said Ochoa has a history of being violent. He was always in and out of her life because he was in prison, on drugs, and he just stayed away. The fact that he, they did that, tortured a girl, that was, that was the crazy part. But it's not surprising to see him go to prison, no. Ochoa and Lopez were arrested on Sunday in Oxnard. They're expected to be moved to Kern County to face charges related to this case. We have more details from the court documents on this case on our website, turn to 23.com. In the Live Center, Natalie Taranjoli, 23 ABC. Okay, Natalie.